this when I'm cracky. Black walnuts. Black walnuts have a really thick, hard shell on them. They're very hard to crack. They're not like an English walnut that you can just take, pop in your nutcracker and give it a little shazam and it just kind of pops away. That is not going to work for a black walnut. What you're going to need to use to crack your black walnuts is not a nutcracker. But you're going to need a hammer. Now this hammer, it does the job, believe it or not. But you want to make sure that you're hitting the nut and you're not hitting your fingers. Alright, so here we go. Okay, one of the items that I'm going to use to keep making a big mess is a basic store brown bag. Right here, that's what I have. And what I'm going to do is just take my scissors and I'm going to cut it short. So let's start here. We've got a nice black walnut right here. You can see right in the tip here on our black walnut. They're on the front and on the reverse. Five chambers in a black walnut. There's two on one side, two on the other side, and one in the middle. So we'll be getting five pieces of our walnut meat from, from those areas. First, you're going to soften up your walnut. Kind of go right on the side. It's going to go around it. There's a little whack. Make sure you don't whack your fingers. Now what we're going to do is get right in the center of it. We're going to take our hammer and start right in the center. Just keep going until you can see it. There we go. All right, three pieces here. You can see we've got two of our pieces here. So we'll take them, lay this right on the side and just give it a little crack. All right, pull it open. Trying to get the loose pieces off that you know is just shells. Slowly pull the one meat out of the one chamber, just like we're doing here. And have yourself a bowl and in it goes. Now we have another piece here. We got a little piece out, but we still have some left. So we're going to put it on the side again. Give it a little whack. Right there, there's two chambers down. Crack and open. There you go, there's another chamber. Let's see if we can get that one out too. Alright, now if these won't come out for you, this little probe here that I have, I want you to don't stab yourself, to go down into your wand if you can't get it out. Well, there we got a piece out. We still have some more left in here. We don't want to waste any of this. This is very good stuff. There you go, and there's a piece. Get the other out. And the idea is that you don't want to mess these up and have all kinds of crumbs. You want to have nice big pieces if you can. We have our first walnut. Looks like almost nothing. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're just going to keep on working here until we can get us, ourselves a pound of walnuts. An organic pound of walnuts that are hauled out costs about $12.50. So there you are. You're saving yourself a lot of money. Soften her up. Turn. These are some good walnuts. Woo! We did it. Oh, that was a tough one. There's a piece. There and the bowl it goes. It's a lot of work, but it's really worth it. And it goes. Now we have the meats of two moths in our bowl. And we'll just continue this process. And there's a piece. Okay, here we have it. I'm finally done cracking walnuts. It's not for wimps. I'm really tired. I've been out here for about three hours. My hands are all dirty, as you can see here. But um, these nuts are all ready to go here. I've got a pound of them, and I'm sure I'm going to use them very sparingly because it took me about three hours to get these all cracked up. I also went through my bag and I made sure that I didn't have any little pieces of hole in here because, believe me, if you get a hold of one of those, you can break your teeth real easy. Take your walnuts. 
your, you can take your nuts now. I have them in mine in a Ziploc freezer bag. The year out first, seal them up, pop them in your freezer for a year, or you can just keep them in your refrigerator for up to six.